Hi you guys. Welcome to another day of cooking with me. Glad you joined me. I just got back from the grocery store and I bought Parmesan cheese. That's what was on my list. Parmesan cheese. You want to see it? Let me show you. Let me show you my Parmesan cheese. This is what I walk out with. See? I am awful. It's like going to Target for me. This, so this is my grocery haul. And I'm hoping I did remember Parmesan cheese. And also, I bought this. All this for just Parmesan cheese. For my for my dish of the day. Right here, you guys. What are we making? Fettuccine Alfredo. Woo, woo. My favorite. Mmm, decadence in your mouth. And I put the little crab note for me. Pretend you don't see that. Because remember, we had crab the other day for Trisha's birthday in the morning. And I have a little bit left that I'm going to stick in there. Some of you can put uh, chicken in there. I should have made... Chicken's easy. Just cut it up and just, you know, put it on top of the stove. Get it browned. and You can always bake it, too. But, but yeah, this I got for my granddaughters. They're going to come out. they got to go to the ocean. i got to be a grandma for a couple days. That's all I get. A couple days every couple months. But let's, let's just go through my grocery haul real quick. Of course. I haven't had these for a while. These are uh, Flamin' Hot Cheetos Puffs. They got to be the puffs, you guys. First of all, I'm going to uh, give thanks to Stacy Burke because she's the one who alerted me to this great little snack with uh, sour cream. And I did get sour cream because I have sour cream left over from our tacos. So we're going to have that snack one time together. Just put that in there. I had to get that. And double extra cheddar, extra cheddar. That's the only ones that are good. They are very, very flavorful. The other ones are just like crackers, but these have an extra oomph to them. And my, my girls love them all. Love them all. And, oh, what I went to the store for right here. Parmesan. Now, I usually get this one, Sargento. It was on sale today. Off the block too. It's not as chunky as like the off the block and mozzarella, but this was three forty nine. This was five forty nine for twice as much. So I got a dollar more. So and I go through Parmesan a lot, and I do like the tub a little better than the Ziploc. But hey, they both work. But I feel really very happy. I got a bargain. So we'll put that over in our ingredients for today. If you see that I got the birthday cake stuck in the corner from yesterday because I don't want to throw it away yet. It was might have to have a bite or two today of it. Okay, and then I picked this up. You're gonna see some of the things we're gonna make on my um, channel. Spam. I know I hated this as a kid. I saw my dad eat it. I'm like, I will never eat that in my entire life. Don't ever say that because it'll come back to haunt you. I'm gonna show you what I do with spam. And then I'll tell you what Spam is, but I never knew what it is. We got these for a little cooking show later on. I'm not going to tell you, but this is just what I got, right? And this, oh, well, I got some coffee drinks, mocha coffee drinks, and I'm going to try different brands. But which one did I want to try today? Not one of these. No, oh, you know what? Let's try this one, okay? I'm, I don't like espresso. So what does this say, you guys? Uh-huh. Double sh shot espresso. Okay, first of all, I'm a little wound up now, but because I just got back from the store, had the G-Wag and my hair is kind of a mess. I had the windows down. I have to wear my big earrings because I got a big car. It's like when I'm driving that, I'm feeling like now I know how much power my Fiat does not have. But I'm going to cheers to Trisha for letting me use her car for a week. <laughs> Little does she know, she's not getting the back. <laughs> no. So anyway, okay, we're going to do, this is a Starbucks. It's espresso and salted caramel cream. Well, that'll be different for me because I'm a mocha person. Chuck mocha. It's, pre, it's a premium espresso beverage. So we'll see. We'll see if I'm zinging off the walls. Oh, you know, I should have my little espresso cup. I wanted to really drink out of this one, but... I guess I could save it for another, you know, it don't matter. And do, I, I don't know, is this all one serving? I suppose if it's just all, now, you know, let me see, because if I'm doing a double, 
A double serving? Okay, good. This is just one can, the serving size. Oh, gee, I coordinated my eyeglasses today to my... Also, my cash attire, I just threw on. You know how you have your favorite outfits to wear around the house? This is it. I love it. It's just so old, but it has a lot of room. I feel good. It's a swingy thing. So when I'm doing my hula hoop, which I will show you one day what I do when I walk by my hula hoop, it swings around. So I've got something to look at while I'm just standing there exercising. Right? Right. Okay, so that was package one. Package two two of going to the store just for parmesan is got lettuce a lettuce head do you all know what that might be for oh you'll know because i i'm gonna show you because i got more of it oh yeah oh i can't show you that because that's that's another espresso drink we're gonna taste it's not espresso it's um a mocha last week i think oh my gosh i can't see oh there it is Whew. Thought it wasn't in there. On sale today. Wasn't going to buy this, but we are going to make BLTs coming up. And this, thick cut, is what you want if you want a lot of meat taste in your BLT. These were on sale for under $6, under $5.50, I think. And I might go back and get some more and freeze them because they are just really good. And now I hope I don't get something in my contact. That's what happens when I wear makeup and it flakes also stove top just gonna run that by quick because you'll see these eventually in my videos my bread for my blt and i got the beefsteak tomato i got the bigger one not the right instead of the right vine because i like like a big slice on my blt okay well that wasn't too bad so anyway if you're going to cheers me get your drink your snack if you're going to cook with me Get your food around because we are eating together because we are never alone. Cheers! Oh, mm, wow, that it's got a lot of flavor in it. I feel like I feel like I'm gonna be like really energized by the end of the video, and if I am, I apologize because I try and talk slower because I know both me and Trisha talk very very fast. So, oh. I do kind of like that. That I'm kind of liking it. Probably like a mocha better. I'll see if they have it. But okay, first off, you guys are going to boil our water. I've already got my water halfway up. I do need a prettier pasta bowl for boiling. It would look pretty on my stove and in my video. I like bright things to, you know, brighten up everybody's day and mine. So I boil it. I put it on high to get it going because we're going to put our fettuccine noodles in there. So we'll get them going. So excited. This is like my most favorite, favorite thing to make. One thing too, one of the, oh, I'll go through the ingredients. I wrote them down because I want to make sure that if you guys make it and you're going to make it again, trust me, you're going to make it again, what you need to get. So simple. Fettuccine noodles. A stick of butter. This is a stick. You know, I get them in half sticks, but I'm only going to do half the recipe today. So that's why I get a half stick. And I don't have to cut through the large one and then wrap it up and that. So I'm doing my one stick. Oh, right there. Put it there so we don't forget. And the heavy cream. Remember, I don't know. I think I brought this up. How hard it is to find this cream. You cannot have milk. You cannot use half and half. It will not be the same. I, I, so I have tried it. And I know my daughter tried it. I'm like... Heavy cream, Trader Joe's, only place I can find it. If you guys can find it somewhere else, let me know. But this is worth the extra trip to go to Trader Joe's, even if this is all you get. Which, you know me, I always come out with two or three other things. So heavy, heavy cream will make it mwah, lovely, lovely. Okay, that's it, you guys. So, you know, we're waiting for our water. We got our drink. Espresso. I don't know if I'll buy this again, but sometimes, uh, well, at Mastro's, my youngest daughter, she orders a double espresso after the meal. And I suppose that's good if you've been, you know, had some champagne or that. And she was, she was wired. I'm going to say she was wired for the whole evening. That girl had fun though. Hey girl, you go. But I'm thinking maybe it was the espresso. So we'll see. 
Oh, yes. So let's get our sauce going low. We're going to go on a, a very low heat. I'm going to put mine at two, but it'll take a while for the electric burners to heat up. So meanwhile, I know what I need. You know those popsicles? I was just thinking they're those big ones. And then some have those strainers that you just lift them out and the water comes down and your noodles are already there. I should get one of those. I thought he passed a lot, and it's just me, you know. I just sometimes I'll even uh, break them in half, although it's not as fun as the whole noodle slurping it up through your mouth. Because really, why did they make spaghetti if it wasn't to look messy and slurpy and that? I mean, I know everybody goes, "Oh, I can't go on a date and eat spaghetti because I, I just, you know, look like a pig eating it, or I'll have to cut it up." I'm like, who cares? If you are with the right guy, he'll be doing it with you. I'm just saying. So, mine's almost boiling, but I want it to be a rapid boil. So, I, I like that. Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to have my strainer, too, to do that with. My tiny, tiny little strainer for one. Still carrying these limes around. Okay, so our pan is on low, right? And we are going to add our butter first, right? Yeah. So this is, this is a half a cup of butter. If you're doing the whole recipe, you're going to do a cup of butter. You're going to have it, it I means so easy, you won't even need the recipe after this. Equal parts, butter and cream. Butter, I love butter. Butter is my life. Butter on popcorn. Ooh, boy, you see that? That is gone. Let's get our fettuccine in. I love noodles, so I might put a lot more in than you guys, but, because you know what, this does warm up really, really good. See, this is what happens, because I don't have a big enough pot, and you guys probably know too. You see, I mean, it will melt down, or melt down, I mean, it'll shrink down, right? Shrink, melt, shrivel, oh, I should just make all of this be a grand plate, wouldn't it, at the end of this video? Go down and chow. Mm -hmm. But I'm not. I'm not going to do that. We're just going to do a little bit. See, there's some left. If I can get it right angle, a little bit left. So yeah, I should just make it all, but it's okay. I can reheat it really, really fast. This is my little... Actually, I have my own pasta scooper upper, but I found this in Trisha's tub and I liked the pink handle better. Oh, I'm coordinating with my sweater too. Okay, so we're going to get that all pushed down. I'm so excited because I didn't break that. It's going to be fun, fun, fun in eating it. Yes. Okay. So push that down, get back on. And of course, they always say, make your pasta and al dente. I, I just make it when I think it's done. I know al dente. The only thing I know about what that is, is you take a noodle out and you throw it up against the fridge. And if it sticks, al dente. I think that's it. I guess you just don't want to get it slimy. Which I, when I have made Kraft, and, Kraft macaroni and cheese, I've had it be slimy. So I, I kind of get that. It, it does lose something. Okay, so our butter is going nicely. Mm -hmm. Got to get these two shots of espresso down to see how it's going to work. And if it works, I guess you guys who have to stay up late at night for work or something might want to purchase that. Okay, let's get our cream measured. For the whole one, you're going to do two cups. Me, I am doing a cup today. Especially if you're doing a single serving, two servings, or one to heat up. Let me just put that. May 13th. See, this isn't going to, this only lasts about a week, so I might want to make double of this. Ooh. See how, see how heavy that is? The difference between that and half and half? Ooh. Oh, yeah, and this is four, so, you know. If you make it again, if you make it two times a week, you already had your cream emptied. And 
you haven't wasted any money. Okay, so that's looking good. Mm -hmm. Get that melted a little bit. Maybe I'm going to put it up on three. Oh, I, put, I pulled something out of the fridge that I wanted to get rid of, but I'm just going to tell you some along the way, along when I do videos, things that I do not like right here. And I like pineapple and I like cottage cheese, but I don't like the cottage cheese and pineapple. It just was not working for me. I don't know. I don't know if it was because it was low fat because I usually, I usually get the real thing, right? And this wasn't. And I guess if I want pineapple and my cottage cheese, I'm going to get it fresh, cut it up, and put it in my cottage cheese. Why I would have done this, I don't know. A weak moment. I thought I... You do some cottage cheese right now. Cottage cheese also has a lot of protein in it. A lot of protein. Now what I'm going to need later is some napkins. So let's get that. I got out two. I got. A, I think I'll end up putting it in a bowl than my plate because it's going to be kind of slurpy-ish in my mouth. Ooh. Come on, butter. We got to go. I'm hungry today. What time is it today? My time, it's 11.15. I've got so much accomplished today. Woke up, had my coffee. Packaged up all the Poshmark that I needed, which was 12 packages and boxes. Out the door to the post office already. Got gas. Went to the grocery store. And I'm home. So, that's why I just kept my hair the way it is. Because we're just here for you and me, each other. Right, right, right. And by the way... I hope Jason and Trisha are having a great time. I already saw a Snapchat of theirs when they got off in Tahiti. I'm just so excited because I've never been there. And it's like, I'm just, I'm living the dream with them, you know. But someday I will go. I am going to go. Because my thing is to go into tropical places. <laughs> okay, guys. So, our, see our butters? All melted. Now, we pour in our heavy cream. And it's not whipping cream. No whipping cream. Whipping cream is whipped cream, but uh, we're going to pour this in a little. What does it say? Okay. Actually, no. It says pour it in. See, now I just, this is me. I'm always in a hurry. Pour it in, but don't stir it. She says, this is Pioneer Woman's um, recipe, by the way. She goes, let it get acquainted. I'm like, well, Okay. Let it get acquainted. So we're letting it get acquainted on low. Still low heat, right? I want to, I want to tell you guys the right way because this is something that once you learn it the right way, you can do it. But I, I do. I stir everything, right? I do. Okay, so it says let it sit for a minute or a couple minutes. The pasta should be good. Mm. That pretty much is not locale, but you're getting your dairy, right? If you're lactose intolerant, oh my gosh. I feel so sorry for you guys. You can't taste the richness of it. Although they probably have good substitutes. They have a lot of good substitutes now. So, okay. That pasta is almost done. Then, what do we got to do? Oh, and then get you, oh, we're going to drain our pasta. And then, what do we do? Uh do it right. We're going to put the Parmesan in our bowl. No, how is she doing it? Let me see. You drain your pasta, add to the bowl. Oh, this is supposed to already be in a bowl, and then we're going to add our pasta in that. Got it. So, I'm going to put it, get that ready. I guess I should read ahead the directions, but I thought, oh, well, you know, it'll work. So I'm going to, it says, okay, for, so um, the Parmesan, you're supposed to have two cups Parmesan, right? I don't know if I said that right. Did I say at the beginning, one cup butter, one cup cream, and then two cups Parmesan, okay? Might not have said that right, because I have an arrow pointing up to two cups butter, or Parmesan, and then the butter, I'm like, okay. But you know what? You can't mess up on the, can't mess up on cheese. Oh my gosh. If you want more, you get, you just put more in, right? Okay. So, this, that's always hard to get open for me, but not as hard as a jar. So, let me just get those scissors out. I know most of you would have used a knife, but, so, 
Yeah, you can measure this. I'm not. Oh, I am not. So we would put half of the Parmesan. Excuse me, you guys. Man, we're off. Okay. This is how much I'm going to put on the bottom. Okay. I'd say, i think that's probably more like three-fourths of a cup. No, it's a cup. Let's just put the cup on because... See, and it's even fun to come out of a tub. I'm going to leave that open because we're going to use a little bit more later. Let's get our pasta off because it will be going past the al dente mark. I'm going to drain this over here, you guys, really quick. Ooh, look at all my groceries in here. Okay, part of my back. But I'm, wow. And you know what? I think yesterday, did I have my pantry open? Oh my god, that, that must have been a beautiful shot on my video. Because I'm getting so much stuff now, I can't. I don't even have room for it, so I'm stacking it on everything. Why is it, like, if a noodle is stuck, they're falling out. Hang on, you guys. I don't want to lose a noodle. Okay. Let me put that over there. If a noodle is stuck in the pan... I always got to get it out. It's like one noodle is going to make a big difference. Oh my God, it's so my mother. So saving. Oh, ho, ho. all right. That is our fettuccine. Oh my gosh. I lost some, you guys. No, no, no. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. And I want to make sure we are going to pour this, pour this on top of our cheese. Ready? Because it, it's warmed up together. It's It's gotten acquainted, I think. Pretty good. So we're going to, this warm mixture is going on the Parmesan. Oh, you know what else? And I don't ever do this, but this was uh, one of hers, a little hints. Before you drain the pasta, save some of the pasta water in case your the sauce gets kind of lumpy or thick. And you want it to be more not, <laughs> as they say. Okay, so now we're going to put the fettuccine noodles on this. Mm. See how this, see how easy this is, you guys? And then we're going to do tongs and just toss it. And the cheese is melting down under. Let me get that out of the way. Mm. Mmm. Get some of that cheese around. Oh, yeah. There is nothing better than melted Parmesan cheese. Except the baked Parmesan chips, too. Ooh, that, I should have made some. That would have been cute. Could have stuck them up and around. Mmm. So, like I said, once again, you can have as little or as many noodles as you want. I think they're pretty well tossed. We're trying to do is, is get the cheese cheese at the bottom to the top too so all the all of it is coated see mine doesn't look the very lump mine's mine would be good I wouldn't have added any pasta water I must have did that just right I don't know also um make sure you turn off your burners and for garnish we're gonna do more parmesan Kind of sprinkle it. Isn't it? That is beautiful. Oh, so pretty. Thank you, you guys. And then you can also put some pepper on top for a little added flavor. Oh, you know what I didn't do this time? I didn't put the salt in the noodles, but you know, you you can also put it in the cream and the butter when you're done. A little salt if you want, but. I think there is probably enough in the cheese that I do not need that. I think I'm going to put this plate underneath. It's going to be kind of warm. Also, the crab. Now, you can heat your crab up. I'm not going to because I lost my fork. There it is. It Everything is pretty hot right now. So, I'm going to just kind of put that on. Oh, man, that's... 
Maybe I should cook for Mastro's in Beverly Hills. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Now, most of the time you would toss it with the whole thing while you're using your tongs and that, but kind of be fancy, I don't know. Like your chicken, you would put it in while you're cooking it. I don't like, I just like the plain noodles. I, it, I like it. It's good for me. Good for you. Let's go eat, okay? And let me see. I want to take. These are my notes. I didn't even get around to talking about. I need a clipboard, you guys. Clip. Such a clipboard, yeah. And you know me. I, I do notes, you guys, right? Okay. Um, I'm going to take you guys over first. Because... This is going to be a handful. Hello. My favorite part of the video is when I come in eye contact with you guys. And you're going to eat with me. We're going to sit and eat. That's my favorite part. Okay. Let me get all my little doohickeys off. And I will be right back, you guys. Really? Right back? I'm not going to go all the way to the kitchen on my knees, though. No, 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 no. Okay. Here it comes. Wah. This is why we cook. Wah. Oh, yeah. Oh, perfect. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I have been waiting for this for a long time. What is this? I just bought this little thing from Wayfair. As you can see, I don't have my tools because my, my handle's inside and I haven't got it turned around yet. It's joy living by yourself, you know, because nobody judges you, and you just get it done when you want. Mm. You know that probably would be good with a little ice in it, but I think espresso. You're just supposed to. I think you're supposed to drink it down here. I'm sipping it. Uh, I'm so sipping it. All right, time to eat. Oh, I'm so excited. So, oh, it smells really good, you guys. Mmm. Mmm, get a little crab, a little of the juice. I am not Italian, and I know you're supposed to have a spoon and swirl stuff. Oh my gosh, look at oh, you see, oh, with mine. That, I see the steam. It's going. I see the cheese. Oh. Mm. Mm. Out of this world good. Oh my gosh. I'm going to take a moment. It's really good. It's really good because now I know I'm, because my nose is running already. Oh man. So good. So, oh, oh good. My gosh, that crab really is good too on it. You think, um, I don't know, not many places put the crab or lobster with their fettuccine, but. Mmm, mm, man. I think that's the best thing that I made for myself. My bot, my little body likes not little, but it's really happy when I'm eating this. And I never have. Crab. I never have crab left over. Usually, when I have a crab leg, I eat it all. So I'm glad I left some. It does add quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Which then you can even justify more why you would get a big crab leg. Say, oh, that's going to be for two meals. So then instead of twenty six dollars, it would be thirteen dollars a meal. Mm. Good call on the bowl. This is the perfect bowl. I like. I wish I had more of them. I think I got these at Ralph's years ago, but mm, so good. Before I forget to, I'm gonna do a little Poshmark to show you. 
But somebody alerted me through Twitter that there is a fake account of Trisha's on Poshmark. And um, you'll know what it is. It's got one item on it, but it's just, she's doing the Trisha P88. It's like, and with Trisha's picture on it. I did write to Poshmark. I said, you know, there is no authorization that anybody can use her picture on another account. And I know what she's trying to do, right? But it's like, girlfriend, don't do that. That's not cool. So hopefully they'll take that out because Trish is it's Trish P88. Trish P. No A. Mm. As long as we're talking about cheese and how I love cheese, I'm going to do a shout out to Domino's for their cheesy bread. Best ever. That lasts me three meals. I don't try and order that too often, but mm, that is so good too. I feel like I went dark. Sorry, you guys. Mm. If you've never tried it and you do love cheese, order that sometime. And, that, and it's not expensive. What is it, like $5.99 or something, if that? Mm. And you know, we talk about this like being heavy and stuff, but it's filling. I mean, right now I could quit. It's filled me up pretty good. I don't know, I'll be full. I'll fill it up full. I mean, if I quit now, and wait the 20 minutes, like I said, you'll be totally full. But I'm going to eat a little bit more because you guys are still with me and I like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. Mm. So if any of you are in Hollywood today or on vacation, or just came to Hollywood to see the, the Star Wars has their premiere going on. Their next movie coming out called Solo something something. I've never seen a Star Wars movie, I don't think. But it's going to be wild down there. They have Hollywood Boulevard, of course, shut down for the premiere. It's across from the Jimmy Kimmel Theater, right? So... That's what's going on today in Hollywood, in case you wanted to know. But, it's another thing. Um, Meghan Markle, I, I, you know, her and Prince Harry are getting married. I didn't realize, I thought they were going to get married like in a year. They're getting married like, what, on the 19th or something, of May of this month? I'm like, gosh, that just seems really fast. It just seemed like they just announced it. And so, they kept it pretty private for a long time. Mm-hmm. Mm. Right there? That's a Trishy Fishy kiss. That's the move for your pasta. That's what that reminds me of. But, poor Megan, they just have been doing, covering her her entire life from, I think, when she was a baby. And now, I didn't even know it came out that she was on Deal or No Deal. I remember when that first came out, Trisha was just out. I just moved her out to Hollywood. She was 18, and they were looking for the models on their first show then. So it was like, oh, didn't know she was. And then they showed a picture of her on there. I'm like, so crazy. And then they showed her other shows she had been on. But that's the one that stuck out in my, my mind. But, hey, good luck to them. They'll do just fine, I'm sure. I'm sure. Okay. Here's another uh, beware. If you're in the Paramount area, you live in Southern California here. There was a man gunned down on the bike path today. Or 
this morning, early this morning, I think, believe. Either late last night or early this morning. And uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful park and bike path. I mean, who does that? So they don't know. They have a serial killer on the loose. So there were people there. KTLA was covering. There were people there. Yeah, you know, they had their little ones. Not a lot, but some lady had her little baby on a swing. But she didn't speak English, so she probably doesn't even know what went down there. But when I saw that, I thought, am I watching my forensic files? Or is this real life? It's like, real life snapped so it's like what well, but they say you know they're confident they're going to catch him because it's you know it's local and, and usually somebody's going to talk you know something that crazy and if it's a local around the paramount area i feel they'll catch him i hope so especially if he, he's a serial killer that would not be good but anyway condolences to the family of that man died that's so crazy mm. here's another one too I know well only because we've been talking about animals right and this uh, grandmother was taking care of her three-month-old in Sherman Oaks and she went to go get her bottle and she left her like on the couch and they had three dogs and one of them was like a 98 pound Wattweiler and one was another like 80 pound dog and then another one three of them and when she came back they had mauled that little three-month-old baby oh. now here are your family pets and you, you know you think I you think the world of them but they did they attacked her and she didn't survive so be careful you guys I know we all think our, our pets wouldn't do that but don't take the chance oh my gosh don't take the chance Poor little thing that, that that broke my heart but you know it I just want to bring this to your attention not to be morbid or anything but just you know be careful it's just all about keeping yourself safe and your family okay but anyway uh, here's another thing people Place where I'm today, they don't want you to. You know, we have a lot of uh, panhandlers, homeless people, off of the exits on the freeway with their um, cardboard saying "I'm hungry, please give money" or whatever. And they don't want you to do that anymore because they say you're enabling their addiction. If you do give them the cash, they're just going to go get drugs or alcohol, cigarettes, whatever. And I don't know if that's true. I'm, you know, I'm just saying that's what they're saying. They say and then everybody's like oh well i want to help them but they're they're asking you to go to the shelters donate to them the food banks anything that you know people that feed the homeless donate to them and i think that's a really good idea because we are getting so so many out here i, I swear every time i get off the freeway on an exit they're right there the people there's some even by my post office now i'm like oh it is never ending it's so crazy to me Oh, there was a cute little uh, thing, too. Um, these uh, people were walking by an alley, and they heard kitties uh, meowing. And so they went to go uh, um, find them, and they were in this alley, and there were three of them. So they brought them back to their home, and they started feeding them and that, and they, they were biting at them and that viciously. And so they, they called animal control. Here they were, um, little tiger, not tiger, but uh, leopard cubs or something you know wildlife anyway and they they had all these scratches they were like oh so they took him and took him to a uh where they treat the wildlife that don't have a home or a family or cannot be put out in the wild yet right well of course we all think we would know what a lion cub looks like or any kind of little cub but you never know they do they showed them they look just like tiger cats they were a little who huh, you know but you know what are you gonna do hey at least they try and uh one more thing before i show you my posh um adam lambert i love adam lambert i remember watching him on american idol i thought he should have won so i thought i should have won but he has done so well for himself didn't even need that but he's performing with queen 
Yeah, I would love to go see there because I'm such a big fan of Adam. In fact, I hadn't heard of anything about where he was either, so um, glad to hear that. Glad I am. Okay, let's, oh. Okay, a little passion today is, I'm going to call this like a shawl wraparound. It is kind of like a blanket, but it's, it's got the little fringe. It's very soft. It's very warm. I gotta keep it. I should just keep, like I say, I should keep this for myself, but you know what? I don't. And then I would have everything here of Trisha's. This, I, let's just hope, I think this is a costume. It says Department of Corrections. I think it was a Halloween outfit, but it's cute. It's got the little, it's got a zipper down. It's stretch, is it stretchy? Oh yeah, it's stretchy. That's cute, it's like a little romper. Love that, bright orange, they'll see you coming. And here we have Mother of Dragons. This is so Trisha, oh my gosh. That's a t-shirt, this is a cute little romper with off the shoulder sleeves. I like these. I, I got something myself. Not quite that short, but it's all it's a stretchy like a tube top on top. So that I shall be putting up. Oh, this one is this one is cute. I was gonna string it. It's uh, from the Pyramid Collection. It's like a little corset. I don't have it. <clears throat> got the holes, and here's the string. I just don't have it laced. I will probably do that before I put it on Poshmark. But yes, it is purple. You know, I don't know if that, if I have this, uh, my window shades open. I don't know if that's good lighting today. I uh, guess I found out. But, and this was something, is, I'm going to give to Trisha because she loves this. Every time I use it, I don't use it a lot. I'm like, I'm just going to give this to this girl. She loves my beach bag. And I got this down on Hermosa Pier. Can't remember where, but some, they come from Morocco. Man hand paints them. These are all sequins. And then he hand paints it, but they also have like uh, peace symbols and there was something else. But I thought, I'm going to give her this because most of them are one of a kind. But they have like other ones that are pink down there with a, uh, like a mint green heart and stuff. So I, I'm going to surprise her when she gets back and give her this because she does so much for me. And, you know, I just don't have a lot of things that I can do back for her. So not that I have to, but... I did raise her. <laughs> that cheese. Stringy cheese is everything. Okay, guys. I'm going to have to wrap it up. Because, um, I want to join my gym today. <laughs> Need to join my gym today. And it's only like six blocks to walk. I probably walk. I'm gonna walk there because I don't like the parking situation at all. But I will walk there, and I'm hope. I think they have a pool. I hope they have a pool. I love to swim. I miss swimming. I miss swimming a lot. So I saw my agenda today. Thank you guys for being with me, cooking, eating, drinking, whatever you did with me today. I appreciate it. Get your comfy clothes on and chill. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't know what the menu is. I wish I did because I'm afraid I'm going to wake up and change my mind. And then you guys will have had all the stuff ready to go. And they'll be like, oh, really, Mama? Mm -mm. So anyway, thank you all. Thank you all, your pastors. I love you. And... Talk to you tomorrow.